Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna unbox and install this Wald 135 bike basket. You may have seen in one of my older videos where I did the same for the 137. So um, anyway, let's just go ahead and open this up and get started. And by the way, I got this on amazon.com and I will leave an affiliate link down below if you wanna buy it. Help the channel out a little bit. Now the 135 is actually a bigger basket than the 137. Um, it's kind of weird, the number is smaller, but the basket's bigger. It's actually a lot bigger. I think it might be the same, maybe it's the same width and depth. You know what, I'll measure it. Let's check it out. If you're looking at the inside depth, uh, I think we're about nine and one eighth. And the inside width is about 14 and one eighth. Now I'm gonna go over here to the Basically, the 137 and 135 looks like they're very close to the same size at the top. Yeah, pretty much dead on. I'm putting one on top of the other right now off camera. Um, but this does taper, so it gets smaller as you go down. And the biggest difference is, though, with the 135, it's much deeper, approximately 9 inches, whereas the 137 is much shallower at just about 5 inches. So the reason I got this deeper one I think most people agree it doesn't look as cool, but this is gonna be more of our grocery basket. So this bike it's going on isn't, uh, <laughs> isn't so good looking, but you know, it gets a job done type of bike. So let me go ahead and pull it out and we'll get started installing it. So what do we have here? We have an old Trek 3700 aluminum frame, step through type frame dry rotted tires that still have a lot of tread left we have rusty components but hey it still works and I we actually ride this quite a bit and of course it has the uh, toddler seat on the back well actually that looks pretty good <laughs> that was easy but the main question is the support right the support is always the question with these Normally you'd put the support down here somewhere, but on this bike, first of all, there is really nothing to attach to. Maybe you could um, attach the support rod where the axle goes in, I'm not sure, but I think this would be in the way. And then the other problem is, is this is actually a, a shock, you know, this is a shock, it's a suspension fork bike. So um, this will move in relation to the basket, which probably isn't really ideal. Granted, this thing probably only has like 40 millimeters of travel, but still, that's not ideal. Not to say we won't do it, but I'm, I'm just saying it's not perfectly ideal. Uh, we could also attach here, possibly, to the brake caliper mounts, but it's also the same problem that that part of the bike will move in relation to the handlebar. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but let's try to figure out something. And by the way, there really wasn't a whole lot in the box, just uh, these two support mounts, these rubber pieces, which go over here, and some nuts and bolts, obviously, to attach to the support mounts, and some instructions were kind of folded in here. So, well, I don't know if calling them instructions is, okay, it's instructions. But anyway, let's take a quick look at these instructions. They're pretty brief. Okay, it just says, the size handlebar it fits, comes with metric fasteners, kind of shows how it should look. Then on this side, there's some more instructions. Uh, I'll take some time to read this, but it looks, I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's glad, it's nice that it's here. I'm glad that it's here. So anyway, proudly made in the USA. Eight millimeter and a Phillips head screwdriver. So you can just hold this end like that and screw it on in. I purposely put the Phillips head on the outside so I could just easily 
screw it in like this and hold it on the inside. Because if you did the other way, it'd be a little bit harder to, to use your screwdriver. So I've got that tightened down. And I ended up uh, mounting to the quick release axle, the axle of the wheel on the quick release. I'm not sure if that's really a good idea. because I don't think that that axle is really supposed to hold a load like that but I don't really see any other way to do it and uh, it's just gonna have to work for now I may go online and do, I will go online and do some research to see if that's uh, such a bad way to do it as it might be so I'll put an update somewhere in the video if this is really a bad way to do it and I may have to redo it but I mean it certainly feels sturdy All right, so the basket's pretty much installed. Now I just need to finish up the, the mounts up top here. Now they give you these um, kind of rubber things to probably to make it a little quieter and also to protect your handlebars. Of course, I don't really care about the handlebars on this bike, but uh, you know, I might as well put them on. Just kind of lifted this up a little bit. Now I'm taking the rubber strip. I'll put it on the handlebar and just try to slide it in there. There we go. It was easy. And just to kind of lock it in, I'll go ahead and take the nut and bolt provided. The nut goes on the bottom side. There's kind of a square punch out down there. Put the nut in like that. Grab my Phillips head again. And because of the punch in the steel, I don't think I'll need anything to, to hold the other part down. Now I'm just going to get it started. I'm not going to tighten it down yet because I still need to to do this side. So same same idea over here. Give it a little bit of space. Slide in the rubber strip. You may have to mess with it and push down and pull and whatnot, but eventually it should go on there pretty easily. There we go. That looks decent. Oh shoot, maybe I shouldn't have routed that like that. That looks like a, a little bit of a pinch. All right, let's try to put this cable over like that. So, to do that, I actually have to take both these off, unfortunately. There, that looks a little bit better, right? Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and tighten this down. The routing looks better. The basket itself, let me zoom you out a little bit. Looks very even, actually. So I'm just gonna tighten this down. Good and, well, more than good and snug. I'm gonna tighten it down quite a bit. So it doesn't go anywhere. I think we're about done. Now, the one kind of problem I was a little bit afraid of with this whole setup is the fact that this is a suspension fork, so this whole basket is going to go up and down in relation to the handlebar. Or, yeah, there's a little bit of movement, but luckily this, this fork is so old, <laughs> it barely moves anyway, so <laughs> if I could lock it even, I would, but I don't think I can. So anyway, I'll just leave it alone. I think we're good to go. Let's give this a little test ride. Okay, I went ahead and put a couple things in here just to give it some weight. As you can see, a jug of fluids, a drill, a bike lock, and a measuring tape. Seems to be working pretty good. Um, before I post this video, I will do a few rides with it, which will hopefully you know, let us know how it's actually gonna work. I'm still a little bit concerned about mounting the bottom part to the quick release the way I did it. But I'm gonna go online and ask around and see if like, by the way, if you have any experience with baskets, go ahead and leave it in the comments box. If you are familiar with the 135, 137, or even anything better, let me know what you have. But on the other hand, this isn't supposed to carry that much weight either. So I'm not sure. 
anyway, it's all done. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Please remember to subscribe and give me a like, leave a comment. Talk to y'all later. Bye.